Dignity is more important than my life. Dignity is more important than any other things. Dignity, I want to fight for it. I'm ready to die for it. Palestinians and occupied East Jerusalem have four decades lived with the threat of being expelled from their homes or being consistently denied permission to renovate or restore them. I'm here in Silwan to bring you the story of the Palestinians who are holding on to the little land they have left in occupied East Jerusalem. The status of Jerusalem is at the heart of Palestinian-Israeli conflict and the heart of the conflict beats in Holy Basin the old city and surrounding neighborhoods like Silwan. Human rights organizations say Israel discriminates against Palestinians in Silwan and uproots them. Municipality Plan 11555 shows Israel's intentions for Silwan and its surroundings. Jawad Siam, director of Wadi Hilwa Information Center, explains. The green color is, uh, means that it's open area. We don't know what to understand under the, the green area, but the green area means no houses. That means all the houses what you see that uh, should be demolished, destroyed. And after this, uh, the houses uh, being destroyed or demolished under the control of the National Park Authority, which means it will go to the settlers. That means all those area, green area will be under the control of the settlers. What is remaining for Palestinians from this area is 7.2% of the land. Life is not easy for Palestinians here. Jawad says Israeli settlers, their security guards, the police and the Israeli authorities constantly pressure and attack Palestinian residents of Silwan. In Silwan, I say always, you don't plan for next day, never plan, even for next hour don't plan. And my nephew was arrested yesterday in the, in, the, in the morning. It could be, your house could be demolished, they could block the neighborhood, the settlers could storm into your house. When people talk about Palestine, about the, the problem here, they talk about the big issue, but they don't see the small details. The small details is much tougher than the big issue. Israel, for a long time, has been trying to take over land and properties of Palestinians in the Silwan neighborhood. According to human rights organization Iramim, Israel deepened its control in Silwan in three stages. Before 1992, Israel had seized houses which it declared absentee property on the basis of the absentee property law. After 1992, Israel seized houses by buying from Palestinians using unlawful methods through what witnesses and court rulings have called extortion and forgery, including false deportations, forged documents and posthumous witness signatures. Since 1990s, massive properties that have historical and archaeological importance have also been transferred to some right-wing Israeli organizations such as Ataret Kohanim and Elat. Silwan is located southern west of the old city walls that is very close to Jewish and Muslim holy places. Israeli settlers here prefer to call the town as the city of David for religious reasons. Jawad Siam told me that there are five tunnels under the town going to the old city that have damaged about 80 Palestinian homes. As for the remaining homes, settlers approach Palestinians offering them to buy their houses, often using Arab middlemen so that homeowners will not know they are selling to settlers.